as I'm uh, strolling around here, it's it's a very grey day. Uh, there's no light, um, and as we're in a forestry commission uh, part of the woods, it's very uniform. So there isn't a huge amount of interest. I think if the conditions were better or different, I should say, then we'd have much. Uh, there'd be much more to to play with and to look at. But I'm feeling quite uninspired at the moment. I was thinking I might head back to the car uh, and uh, go and get some fruit and something to eat. Uh, but on my way back, I've just noticed this fallen tree here. It's got loads of acorns on there. Um, not acorns. So I've noticed this fallen tree, it's got loads of pine cones on there. Uh, and I really like the shapes and the textures of the pine cones. And, it's pretty, and what light there is, is picking up on those different uh, levels and areas of those pine cones. So there's some nice contrasty uh, areas and, and bits of detail to focus on. So I pulled out again 100 to 400 and I'm zoomed right in uh, on different pine cones and I'm playing with shape and texture. And I'm planning to try and get three images so I can do like a little set or a little triptych. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, let me show you what I'm doing currently. Okay, so this is the shot I've got lined up at the moment. Uh, so we've got two pine cones here, and we've got some nice shape uh, of the other pine cones and the branches spreading out and stretching out. We've got a main branch just here, which will pull us into the image. And I really like this kind of, in this top right hand corner, these three uh, branches just spinning out. I think that's really lovely. So, because I'm shooting 100 to 400, although I'm on a really stable tripod, the biggest thing is, is when I go to focus. So if I zoom in to focus on one of those pine cones, I'm getting huge amounts of vibration, which is just because we're on a really big lens, really long lens. So this is unfortunately one of those things um, that gets in the way when you're trying to manual focus. However, what I tend to do in this situation is I'll just flick to autofocus, which I very rarely use, and just use that to focus in. I will then flick off of autofocus so it doesn't move, and we're there. Now you have to be very, very careful when you are shooting this, that when you press the shutter, you can see the image moving on the screen, so you have to be very careful with that. So I always use my remote shutter, and I give the image a chance just to settle down. But you can see how much it's moving already, and that's just, that's just in the wind, that's just the natural movements, even the cable, cable tie, uh, the cable release. So we'll take a breath and we'll press the shutter.
So for the next image, I've spotted the pine cones that I want to take. Um, and this is the process that I'm, I'm going through. So I've got my camera pointed in roughly the right direction uh, of where I want to go. I've zoomed way out, so really wide, as wide as I can on this lens, just so I can see everything. Uh, so I can get the camera lined up. So I'm going to zoom, I'm going to move my tripod head and pan up, find roughly where I want to be. I'm going to start zooming in till I find what I'm looking at, which is here. So we've got these really nice line of pine cones starting from here and running all the way through here. We've got a nice arch with them and we've got this branch that comes straight across the image here, uh, which I really, really like. So what I'm going to do is I'm now just going to refine this composition. So I'm going to zoom out a little just to see what's around it and move around, move the image up and down, left and right, and just to see what there is in the frame. So. This little pine cone down here is quite distracting. Uh, and up here in this corner, we've got this little branch just poking in here, which I don't really like. So I'm just gonna, again, refine my composition. Again, this, this pine cone up the top here is distracting, so I wanna exclude that. So we're kind of getting there, although we're a bit, a bit boring on this side uh, and it's quite nice there. So I'm just gonna, again, refine the composition and take your time with this. There's no rush, it's part of, the, part of the joy, it's just taking your time. When you're shooting uh, a scene like this where there's no horizon, there's no landscape as it were, there's no identifiable features, you can play with the, uh, the horizon level. It doesn't have to be level to a compass uh, or, or anything like that, it can just, just get it right in the frame. So there. So that's that looks really good to me. Uh, I don't mind this little dark area with pine cones in the background. They're going to disappear uh, using depth of field. Uh, a little bit concerned about this tiny end of a branch here. That that's nice, but it's just falling out the frame, which is going to pull our eyes out. So I'm just going to come to, again down a little bit. Sorry, keep touching the tripod there. Just refine, minimal, minimal, until you get it absolutely where you want it. There we go, something like that. And then we may well crop down in post to something like a uh, four by three or five by seven. Um, again, if I'm going for the triptych, then we will try and get them all to match. Okay, so now we're gonna Get our focus point, where do we want to focus on? I do like this, where the box is now, I do like that one to focus on. So we're going to zoom in. Let's flick to also focus again. Focus. Okay. Okay. So as for settings, I'm going to shoot multiple images. So this one is at F8. ISO 100 of course, because we want a tripod. But I'm also, because we want to explore the depth of field with these images, I'm going to go down to 5.6, get my exposure right, slight minus exposure compensation. And then I'm going to do another one up at F11. And then let's do one at F16, just so we've got comparison. So when we look at them, I don't really like F16, it's really cluttered and really busy. As we come down in F stops and remove that depth of field, you can see the back blurs out and we just start to highlight the area that we want mostly, which is these pine cones in the, in the foreground, ignoring the background. So yeah, we'll look at that on the big screen later and we'll decide what our favorite f-stop is for this. But I'm thinking this one, which is f8, uh, sorry, f5.6, I think it is. 
Oh, I quite like that one. Okay, and then just to make sure I've got the image, so we're gonna go to our histogram. We're gonna have a look at the histogram and see that we aren't clipping anywhere, top or bottom. So we've got, we've got space at the, at the highlights, we've got space there to go into, um, and we're just about where we need to be for the darks or the blacks. So I'm happy with that. Okay.